Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Metronic. In this video, we'll be going through an overview of Metronic's JavaScript file structure. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to do is, of course, purchase and download Metronic. And once you've done, you can open it with your ID of choice, and it may look something like this. So let's jump into our source and JavaScript or JS folders. Uh, in this demo, or in this video, we'll be talking about demo one, but if you go to every demo, it, all of our demos have the same JS folder, like so. So we go into our JS folder and we see four main folders, components, layout, pages, and plugins. Now, to understand our JS structure, we need to understand there are two types of scripts that Metronic uses in different ways. First, we have our global scripts, and global scripts are things like components and layouts. Uh, what this means is this JS scripts are, or this uh, JS files are getting included and loaded and uh, bundled into a single um, file that gets used throughout every page within Metronic. And then we have custom uh, scripts or custom JS files that are more of a on-demand um, kind of loadout where if the page requires this script, then we just include it. Now, how do we define the differences between the two? Now, uh, if you haven't seen our previous videos, we highly recommend for you to get, for you guys to actually watch those videos first. Um, what we go through is we'll go through the introduction of Metronic, we'll go through the uh, overview of the Metronic's file structure and how we use the build tools for Metronic. And in this case, to view what's a global um, script and what is not, if you look into our tools and you go to our config file, you can see that our global uh, scripts is this. We have a scripts.bundle.js file, and this bundle is basically con uh, consists of all files within the components uh, folder, which is this. So all these files here, and also all the files within the layout right here. Now, we do not have a a bundle file for pages simply because as we mentioned it may be an on-demand kind of thing or an on-demand uh, script and on so you can assume that 90 percent of your entire project do not require this script to run you only need like maybe one or two pages into your if uh, within your entire project to use this certain script so we just uh, extract it from the bundle we don't keep that script with, together with the bundle therefore keeping the bundle cleaner and uh, smaller and more optimized. Then of course we have our vendors, which is controlled by our vendors right here. So uh, we've discussed this in our previous video on our build tools. And then if we close, if we minimize this, we see our scripts. So now how this works is we will take all the scripts within um, this page uh, on our side page, this folder, like all the scripts that we have here, and then we will distribute it, re distribute them uh, in their individual pages uh, files. So for example, if we go to our assets, we go to JS, we go to pages, as you can see um, in our source. So let's just make my start, our vendor so they don't get confused. As you can see, it's similar in structure. So what we have here, gets pushed and compiled into uh, your assets folder. Okay, so back to our config. So essentially, that's how uh, Metronic's JS files work. So if you want to add, set add or remove certain things within the pre projects, so um, let's go through how we can remove things easy, uh, within your project first. So let's say, okay, let's say um, in all the components within Metronic, for example, we go to components and then we see that we have a off canvas or a menu or something. Like let's say your entire project does not require the wizard component uh, of Metronic. So if you don't need the wizard component of Metronic, all you need to do is just delete this file, just remove it totally. And once you remove it uh, from, from this folder, 
um, then it will no longer get compiled and bundled up into the main global scripts bundle, this scripts bundle right here, because it's already removed from the folder. Now, if you want a, uh, a script that, uh, a custom script that you've created that you want to be included um, globally within your project, a uh, similar uh, way you can do it is you just add a file, a JS file within this component um, uh, folder. So what you can do is you can just go ahead and just right click, go do that and put my global script.js and then just put your script here. Something like that. Uh, oops, that's not gonna work because we need a name and something like that. So now that you have a global script, go ahead and compile. Uh, let's just change this to global script. You can save that and let's go ahead and compile our script or basically compile them one. And how we do that is you can of course run it from uh, your VS code if you need, or all you can do is you go into HTML, go to tools, open up your CMD, and type in gulp demo one. All right, let's go ahead and run our post. Copy that. As you can see, our alert is not working. Uh, that's because we defined the class or defined the function, but we didn't call it, obviously. So let's just do that. Do a quick uh, compile again. We can't use that command prompt anymore, simply because it's already running our local host there. Let's go ahead and do this again. All right. As you can see, the script is now working. And all it does is it adds into, if we have a look at our source here, let's make it a little bit bigger. So, well, not so big. Okay, something like this is fine. So we scroll all the way to the bottom. So what we're doing is, Adding this script, there's our script here. Adding this script from within this components folder and adding it into our scripts bundle. So if you open this up and do a quick find of hello, so you can see it's basically getting bundled up. So this is how you add a script globally within your project. So as, you, as I mentioned previously, how you remove certain things from uh, certain uh, scripts from your uh, Metronix global uh, script list or script bundle, all you do is you just right click this or go from your uh, explorer and just delete it. And then do a quick compile again. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick refresh here. As you can see, the uh, alert is gone. Do also another quick refresh here. And if you do a search for hello again, we don't have it because it's gone. Okay, so that's how you add and remove uh, scripts from Metronix Global Bundle. Now, how do you add uh, scripts or custom scripts within a uh, an on-demand kind of uh, inclusion. So to do that is uh, we minimize this, you go to pages and then we create a script, something like this. We just create a my script and then in here, you can just create another function called my script. And then we call this alert. Um, what are we alerting? Uh, custom page. Script. And then we need to call it like so. 
Uh, then what we do is we need to, to compile it so that it gets pushed into our assets folder. And once we do that, we need to include this script into our HTML. So how we do that is we go to our HTML, scroll all the bottom of our HTML page. Now, if you build this using um, like PHP or .NET or some other language, like a server-side language that compiles or dynamically builds different components uh, within um, uh, different different metronic components, and then they you basically piece them together uh, partial by partial. You can do this as well. All you need to do is you just need to add a script right here. You can put script source equals assets um, just pages, and then my script, and that's that's all you need to do. Then um, you go back to uh, your project. Uh, let's see if it's done compiling. Yep, it's done. I do a quick refresh, and as you can see, it appears. So to remove certain things within uh, Metronic is, first off, you actually just don't need to have that include line, and it just won't appear. But if you don't, you don't really want to. Uh, load out the script within your server anyway at all. All you need to do is just delete files from this folder within the pages folder. So that's how you can add and remove global and custom scripts within Metronic. Now, there are other files within here. We have our layout files. Now, layout files are primarily used for layout purposes. So like in the base, we have our assigned menu on how our assigned menu works, how our brand works, like, um, uh, our brand colors and whatnot, content, footer, header, etc. And then we get some to the extended things like our quick cards, our search, um, our chat, and so on. So if you, again, if you don't need all these things within your layout, like say, if you don't need a, a chat, go ahead and just delete this. But once you start removing things uh, from the folder, uh, just keep in mind that the moment you remove scripts from the folder, if the HTML still exists within your files here, then it the HTML will still be there. You will need to remove it from there as well. So that's it for this video. It's a quick overview on how we um, build or uh, structure our scripts. So I hope you found this uh, find this video informative. Uh, if you did, give us a like and please subscribe to our YouTube channel so the next time we release a video, you get an update. Uh, please also follow us on our social medias like our Twitter and Facebook. Uh, links will be in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.